Yeah. Welcome everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking our time for the awaited event with Pre-Sales Collective Middle East. And I know a lot of people are new and some of them are already known about Pre-Sales Collective. So we will take this opportunity to walk us through and officially announce a chapter of Middle East. And together we'll create a lateral community where we can have each other from different organization, but with the same inspiration on the pre-sales. So on that, we are just the facilitators of it. We will not say that we are any organized something. We're just a facilitator, but we'll be more than happy to help. And you will get introduced to all these people. Myself, Lavish Kalra, I'm a solution consultant at Alteryx right now. And uh, facilitating on the Middle East chapter with Abdul Rahim and Imran Saeed. And of course, we have our opportunity and a pleasure to get James, who is a co-founder of Pre-Sales from US and Kevin, who has recently joined on the Pre-Sales also. And we'll introduce you slowly and gradually during the sessions on that. So what is our major agenda today? Why are we here? We are here to give you about the brief introduction. We'll start with the brief introduction about the pre-sales uh, collective as a chapter. Then we will see what is the demographics of our pre-sales Middle East chapter. And then we'll have an opportunity with James to know more about the pre-sales as an organization, what was the vision mission around it, starting across the globe. And then how we connect, because that is our key, that how we connect on our day-to-day -day as a lifeline and network together and what to expect next. With that, we will open up a networking session for all of you on an open networking session that you will be allowed to participate and we will together facilitate and work on it to have some more ideas on it. With that, just to give you a brief, Pre-Sales Collective is a global formation of uh, the organization is majorly for the sales engineer, pre-sales engineer, solution consultant, working across different regions, different organization, but with the one prof on a tied through a thread of a single profession of pre-sales. So here we are joining together on a Middle East chapter of the pre-sales and you can see there are a lot of worldwide chapters that are there. And this networking platform allows you to connect with other chapters, other people as well, to learn from each other, to network with each other and to grow together as a better pre-sales professional worldwide. So this is one of the mission also that pre-sales collective share. And in the vision, we want to provide you a global community an elite global community of the professionals where we can exchange knowledge. And in the Middle East, we have each region has a different type of challenges, different type of unique requirements. So we will see, and we will network together on that as we go on and as we get matured in the community. Just giving on faces to the name, James, uh, a co-founder, he's here from the US. He will also introduce on that. Myself, Lavish Kalra, I'm joined by Abdul Rahim and Imran Saeed. So feel free to reach out uh, to any of us on any of the mediums that will be shared during this, during this uh, presentation or going forward once we broke off, move on to Slack and LinkedIn and other ch channels. We are happy to connect and happy to discuss and looking forward to it soon. With that, I'll just say, Abdul Rahim, to take it over and tell us more about the pre-sales in the Middle East as a demographics. Thank Abdul you. Rahim. Thank you, Lovesh. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Abdul Rahim Lakhal, as Lovesh has introduced. Uh, I work with Automation Anywhere, and I'm extremely happy and excited that we finally are being properly represented, or at least we are going to be properly represented in the Middle East. Uh, so we were keen to know you before we did the kickoff. And uh, if you can move on to the next slide, please. And uh, so we asked a collection of questions. We tried to understand where you guys are coming from. And uh, as you can see here in this very simple map, uh, our pre-sales are predominantly, or the, the people who joined pre-sales collective uh, and joined this session are predominantly in Saudi Arabia, in, in KSA, in the GCC countries, in Egypt as well. Uh, and, and we would be more than happy as well that when we grow, we are not only limited to the GCC for other people to join us from Iraq, from Jordan, from Syria, from Oman, and many other countries as we grow. Next slide, please. 
And you'll see that uh, we have various backgrounds from some of the largest companies such as Snowflake, uh, Ultrix, SAP, VMware. So we have a cocktail of experiences and a cocktail of technical and pre-sales backgrounds. This, uh, this acts as, as, uh, as a very, uh, as a very uh, interesting ground where we can share knowledge, where we can network and get to know other people from other companies and how they approach pre-sales as well. Next slide, please. Now, we wanted to know, uh, why did you join uh, Precess Collective? And as you can see, predominantly most of you and most of the people who wanted to participate and who registered wanted to network. Uh, and this aligns perfectly with the core message of Precess Collective as James will, will uh, reaffirm uh, uh, a bit down the line. Uh, additionally, many of you wanted to uh, share knowledge, uh, wanted to have career opportunities and career growth uh, opportunities, as well as interacting socially. Now, uh, nowadays we are doing it virtually, but hopefully uh, a little down the line, we're gonna start meeting in person. Uh, James, correct me if I'm wrong, when your turn comes, you already had a face-to-face -face, uh, event in Colorado, which was a resounding success, and we would love to repeat that here. Uh, we asked a couple of fun questions as well, if you can move uh, Lovish to the next slide, uh, such, as, uh, uh, such as, for example, which type of food you like to eat. Now, one of you, and it's not me, uh, asked and answered everything. Now, it is me just between you and me, guys. I like all types of food, but it's very, it's very interesting to see now we have a menu for our first face-to-face -face meetup. Uh, we're going to have some kunafa, some falafel, some macaw, cheese manatees, and other types of very delicious uh, food that is making me salivate a bit, to be honest with you. I still didn't have my lunch. Uh, when it comes to sports, uh, you can see that many of you uh, like football, cricket, volleyball. Uh, one of you aspires to be the next Usain Bolt who wants to do 100 meter sprints, and I support them. 100%. And there's uh, a couple of people who said that they just want to be a spectator. Now, I'm not sure if that's a sport or not. Uh, if it is, then I should be a gold medalist because that's all I do when it comes to sports. But it's very interesting, fun answers. Now, uh, uh, about places to travel. Now, obviously, uh, many of you want to travel a lot of places. COVID has kept us at home. I'm currently working out of my living room, to be honest with you, and I'm itching to travel and visit the world. Uh, before COVID-19, I had reservations. I had bookings. I was ready, and my, I had my uh, my bags packed and everything. I was about to go to Italy, and then everything got cancelled. So I can't wait to go back to Italy uh, once everything eases up again. I can see many people want to go to Maldives, Australia, back home, which is a very shared common sentiment here in the Middle East with people working and being expats. Uh, there are people who want to go to Algeria, which is my home country. Uh, I also want to go to Algeria. Uh, so, so, so uh, the message that I want to convey, because I before I transfer to James, is that this is a fun activity. Uh, we are a group of uh, geeks and enthusiasts about pre-sales, and we want to get to know each other. We want to get to connect to each other and benefit each other, basically. With this, James, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna hand over to you now. You can now start and tell the everything about. Uh, absolutely. You. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks for the introduction. Hello, everybody. I'm James Kakis, co-founder of the Pre-Sales Collective. And this is just uh, an amazing opportunity to be on the call with everybody today. I mean, this has uh, been one of the, the best parts about Pre-Sales Collective. Um, we started Pre-Sales Collective last April with a goal and intention of building a global community. And, you know, the pandemic obviously happened and changed our plans, but it's been amazing to see everyone across the globe come together. And even today, you know, in, in July, we're having the Middle East team have a kickoff and get together. And this has been the most rewarding part of what we've been doing. And on the next slide, I just want to talk about a couple of things, right? So for me uh, and how this whole pre-sales collective started is that I was uh, building teams in San Francisco at a startup. And I didn't really have a mentor. I didn't have my report at the sales. I was kind of trying to figure things out on the fly. And so I was connecting with a friend of mine, Yuji Higashi, who I met, who is also building, uh, my fellow co-founder and also building pre-sales teams. 
And we realized that if you weren't in a couple of the cities in the US or you weren't in a big company with an ecosystem, how did you connect with people? And the answer was that you really didn't uh, at times. And I think many people have, even if big company, small company felt alone in this role and felt like, why are we not getting the resources? Why are we not having the network and the opportunity to meet our peers? And really that's why Pre-Sales Collective exists. And, um, you know, we are on a mission to just elevate the role of pre-sales. I think anyone who's in this role uh, knows how important this role is. And sometimes we tend to be the unsung heroes or we don't get the praise as much as our sales uh, professionals do, but we do a lot of the work. And so what we want to do is, is create this uh, network that allow you to have resources and knowledge and mentorships to develop long and impactful careers uh, in this profession. And you know, for us, we just wanna have this, we have this vision of creating a, a global community. And, and this Middle East kickoff is a step at that uh, where people will feel uh, inspired and aspiring pre-sales professionals will be supported in their development. I mean, this has just been, uh, again, an incredible journey for us. And I'm very fortunate to have met the Middle East team and had all three of them raise their hands about working toward servicing pre-sales professionals in the region. And they've done an, an amazing job and I'm really excited for the event today and the continual work that we'll do. And as uh, was mentioning previously, we want to get to know you personally. I mean, so many times uh, you're looking for your people to connect with or fellow peers that have the same passions as you. And so we want to be able to provide those pre-sales opportunities, but also those fun personal opportunities outside. And I'll talk about that momentarily. But if Mark Benioff is, a, is a, someone that I really look up to. And Mark said that the company of the future has a soul. And so I changed this quote to say the community of the future has a soul because that's what we really believe in. And I'll talk about the two-way communications that we do this uh, here in a moment. But on the next slide, I just want to talk about some of the fun that's happened over the last um, 14, 15 months. With Pre-Sales Collective, we are really building a network of people who care about each other, who want to lean into each other, help each other out. And these are just some of the member stories. Like I've had some people say, well, I'm not looking for a job. I don't need to come to Pre-Sales Collective. We're just not about a community that helps you get jobs. We're about a community that might help you with a work situation, a personal situation, a promotion conversation. Sometimes you need to talk to people outside. So for example, uh, we have a, a woman who is very involved in Pre-Sales Collective. She's up for a promotion. And she told me that she feels though she can't go to her boss about things that she's struggling with because she's afraid that it's going to hurt her promotion opportunities. And so she's been utilizing the pre-sales collective to meet other leaders and other peers um, to help her navigate these situations without putting essentially her promotion at risk. And that's what this whole thing is about. So, you know, there's a story of Emily who's been really just leaning into the community, getting to know uh, other individuals, absorbing the content on the webinars and the blogs. I got a couple more stories and another story um, about Tina. So anyone who's a, a pre-sales leader knows that it's really hard to hire people right now. And uh, there's a lot of competition in finding those roles. And so Tina has been utilizing Pre-Sales Collective to post roles around the community and build that pipeline. And this was a great quote from, by her that she had four times the pipeline as one of her peers. And another story I like to talk about, uh, and one of my favorite is Supriya. Supriya was wanting to be in pre-sales. She was uh, IT man. She worked uh, as an IT manager, worked as a software developer, and wanted to make that move to pre-sales. So she joined the community, attended events, networked. Um, and then so when she was in the interview process, she knew the lingo. She knew how to talk the talk. And then um, another one is... Um, our friends at DocuSign, right? Lucy um, was looking, she was in a company where she was the only uh, female SC and she just felt like she needed a place where she uh, had other peers and people that she could look up to. And that's where she uh, leaned into the Pre-Sales Collective and took a job um, at DocuSign. And the last one I wanted to highlight was Ryan, who I had the pleasure of meeting in person last week because he told me that he sent 130 applications um, to try to get a job in pre-sales. He was in professional services in an adjacent career and uh, was able to finally lean into the pre-sales collective and get some interviews and get a job. And now he loves being in pre-sales. And, you know, I just want to highlight that this isn't just, again, a community 
um, that is here to help you with your job. We want to be here to support you throughout. And you're going to meet so many amazing people. You know, I, I like to joke that I've met more people in the last 15 months than any year of my entire life. And I never met any of them in person uh, until last week. We went to Colorado and we had 50 people show up to an in-person event heading down to Austin this week to meet Kevin and some of the teams. So it's really amazing. And just want to make sure that you understand that there's a lot of different ways to find value in Pre-Sales Collective. We're going to be here when the times that you uh, don't have a job or you do have a job and times that you're, you're really busy or you're slow at work, uh, we'll have plenty of content and this local uh, Middle East team, which has been doing an amazing job uh, of building this local community for you. And just on the, the next two slides, I want to highlight a couple of items. We really believe in the, in the fundamental philosophy of community, right? Two-way environment. We didn't want to be this community that was just online, that had blogs and had webinars and podcasts and things that you digested, but emphasize the two-way communication. So we have a Slack environment that has, I'll show you the numbers here momentarily, over 6,000 people involved. We do virtual coffees, which are networking, local events. And then there's other uh, content like enablement, uh, wise and really the idea of giving back is what makes this community happen. And so I just really want to highlight that. And on the next slide, you're probably wondering, well, how big is Presales Collective? We're over 13,000 members across the globe. And our LinkedIn page is over 14,700. We've been trying to work on getting those numbers even to, to get our member base. But uh, it's a massive, massive group of people that are trying to get into the profession and people that have been in the profession for two decades, three decades. Um, and so you'll see that you're not alone in this community. And there's a lot of people that are here to, to help you on that journey. And on the next slide, I just want to highlight a couple of the mediums that we have, right? I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, but as I mentioned, we have blogs and podcasts. Uh, we also have local events like this Middle East event. We'll continue to service the community with content and breakout rooms. And then the Slack. The Slack is a big place for us to connect and have that two-way interaction. Uh, but there's a lot of things. And so you can digest and absorb and lean into Pre-Sales Collective in whatever way works for you in the given time of your life. And just last thing I want to end on is an exciting announcement that we put out because on the next slide, we announced uh, two weeks ago the Pre-Sales Academy. How many people do you know, and maybe even reflect on your own story of trying to get into this role, trying to get in this profession? And so many companies say, well, we're hiring entry level, but you need five to 10 years experience, or you need to do this or that. It's, it's tough. It's tough. And so we've created the Pre-Sales Academy, which is a, a boot camp uh, that will allow individuals who want to get into pre-sales, those foundational skills. Uh, to be successful. And so this is a program we just launched two weeks ago. Our first cohort is running in the US in the fall, but our goals are to take this global in 2022. So we're really excited about it and really excited about the entire journey of servicing pre-sales professionals. And so I just want to thank you all for being here today. I need to thank the Middle East team for all the leadership team for all of their work. Uh, they've been working very hard to make sure that uh, the community is supported. And if you ever have any questions, you want to chat with me, just message me in the Slack. I'm there all the time. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks for having me today. And I uh, really appreciate and love seeing the Middle East chapter uh, of Pre-Sales Collective be started. Great. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, James. Uh, before we begin uh, the next section, uh, we can take like two or three questions if anyone has for us or James before we begin to the next section. If anybody wants to ask any questions, we can, yeah, I think so we can ask, uh, we can spare some time for three questions. Hi, uh, this is uh, Dipti Dash here. Hi, Dipti, um, how are you? Pretty, I'm doing good, thank you so much. And uh, I'm pretty glad to see so many other professionals uh, right here. And uh, I'm absolutely sure that we all will be benefited uh, out of it and will be contributing to this community. My question is like, uh, from a connect perspective going forward, do we have an agenda saying that, okay, these are the activities which we are planning to perform over a period of uh, whatever months or quarters that we have and, uh, and uh, anything, any, any information around it uh, that will be helpful. Right, uh, so uh, that's what's happening is uh, Lovish will cover some of the next steps which we're planning for the community. It's already there, so you'll get to know more. And we already have the food menu decided by Abdul Rahim. <laughs> okay. 
Thanks a lot. Okay. That's uh, the exciting I'm looking part forward to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. L looking forward to it. Thank you. So, uh, just a couple of questions that personally I received for the people who were not able to join. So James, uh, that's majorly for you. That where do you see this growing? Like, what is the expectation from us and from the members? That who, how can we more benefit from that? So, if you can elaborate on that. Sure. Yeah, definitely a great question. I think for us, the the power is in the community, right? The power is getting engaged and getting involved and, and, and giving back, right? So things like joining the Slack and engaging in conversation, things like joining the Middle East events when you have them and inviting your peers and, you know, really just finding people that you can help in that community. Because I, you know, what I've learned in this process is you might be in this profession for, for 20 years um, or 30 years, but there are some things that you can learn. Like I talked to a leader who's been doing this for 35 years and he mentioned that his team is all, all males and he had one female and that female left uh, because she didn't feel that there, she was supported. And so he was like, I, I, have, I, I thought I knew everything about pre-sales uh, and there's still something for me to learn. And so getting engaged, getting involved, um, that's the biggest thing. And, and, and telling, telling your peers, telling people that who want to get in this profession, there's something for them. How many times previously did people ask like, what do you do? Or how do you, how do you get into that profession? And you didn't really have a good answer. We're hoping to solve that answer and help give and create that ecosystem uh, for the community. Great. Thanks so much, James. Uh, we'll take one final question, which is there on the chat by Han Alam. He says, is there a roadmap for someone who would like to move into pre-sales as James pointed out the story of Emily? How does one in Middle East go over it as it's a closed environment with very little access? Now, I'll, I will take a jab on it. And I would say that, yes, we're trying to grow the community as much as we can. And once, uh, and we already have like over 60 members on Slack. And once with this, this community grows, the exposure for individuals who want to get into the, uh, into the pre-sales activity grows as well. And yes, if you join pre-sales collective, you can, uh, you can inform about if you're looking to move into pre-sales and there would be somebody who will be keeping an eye, open eye and you know we can try but yeah the our, the first step is to get as many folks in the group in the community so that we can serve the community as well whether it's from a job perspective education perspective or any other perspective uh, i will take konorat's question uh later on uh, can a sales become a pre-sales why not i will just but i will elaborate the answer a little later on there are many sales folks who have been great pre-sales so uh, in lieu of time, I will, I will be continuing. I hope you can see my screen and uh, how we connect, uh, right? Uh, we, there was some fundamental analysis which we did when uh, to keep this session. And I, I will uh, talk about that. Generally, what's been observed that we do have a lot of members from Middle East, maybe they're on PSC or they follow on LinkedIn, but they're not on the channel where we collaborate on heavily. So let's see how we connect. Uh, and we can if i have to just use a line is that we use slack for everything now for those of you who don't know what is slack um, uh, let me summarize slack is whatsapp for work let me put it like that okay so let's keep it simple uh don't get confused that it's a chatting tool don't get confused yeah yes it, it, but slack is much much more yes you can chat with your peers you can network you can contribute so everything what we are planning or, or to do with this event all the planning happened on slack we were sharing content we were networking with each other what we wanted to do everything happens but uh, the other things interesting thing which happened on slack is Yes, you get to introduce yourself to the wider community, not in the Middle East, but across the globe with the 6,000 people on Slack, which are generally added on general, uh, on, a, on a channel called General Channel, and you have access to them as well. We have local chapter channels, like you, you have a Middle East channel, and what I, yeah, I'm going a little technical, channel means groups. So if you're using WhatsApp, groups and channels in Slack are like contemporaries. Uh, the good thing also is like personally i will talk about myself i am a part of three different groups or three different channels across the globe like i'm a part of canada uk just to see what these guys are doing just to see where the pre-sales is heading in different regions and that helps me educate myself that how we do business in pre-sales in middle east and how it's going on 
uh, there are many assets or many channels or many groups which helps you improve your own pre-sales capabilities and even for leadership. So pre-sales is just not, we also, we have specific groups for management, uh, management uh, pre-sales um, where they can go and ask about questions which they are interested in. And also if you have any doubts about how to run a pre-sales demo, I've seen very basic questions and I've seen very fantastic answers coming out of that. That is a really, really important point. You know, there is no, people are asking some very interesting questions which you get educated and people are asking some very easier questions as well, which you can help them. And we want that uh, collaboration to happen. We have a lot of social uh, elements as well. That means we have Clubhouse. If you know about Clubhouse, Clubhouse is like in a, like the next big social thing where you can collaborate just by your audio and then you can join any room and talk to people. And we have book club, we have virtual coffees as well. Uh, and all the events announcements, the blogs, the web webinars, the podcasts, everything, uh, uh, so everything you know is announced on uh, Slack. There are, and in the end, yes, and an important element is there are very, very career help focused channels as well to, you know, to help you find some jobs if, if there are coming in the region or if you need any career support topics, it's all there. So in summary, we use Slack basically for everything. It's just a tool. I will give you a glimpse very quickly about what Slack really does. Uh, and what I want you to do next is when you when this session gets over, just type in your Google Chrome pre-sales collective space Slack. If you're on pre-sales collective, it will take you to this page, which I'm showing right now on your screen. It's a pretty well guided page. Go through it and you can join our Slack channel as well. Last thing is what you want to uh, get in, there are many channels. We will share some of these channels with you as a feedback email, which you should look, look forward to. You have a Geo Middle East chapter channel where you should join. And there are many other interesting channel about management, pre-sales incubator. So someone asked, how can I move to pre-sales from sales? Pre-sales incubator is a channel where we, like where, are, where people are trying to support each other to get into pre-sales domain. Right, how you can do it, what kind of elements or what kind of practice do you need to come into that uh, business? Lastly, I think so, yes, before we go to what's next, I would like to take you to what is Slack. So I'm not going to demo, right? This is not, this is not my presentation for my demo skills, but I just want to take you through very simple things, which is, uh, you know, this is like, th these are channels. So I have, we have a geo Middle East channel. You can, you can do the channels and you can, you can have all the events, whatever we're trying to do. We can have, we can post jobs. That's what we are planning. And you can also join the other chapter, other chapters, if you would like. Uh, also, you can even directly chat to anyone if you, if you want to, right? If I want to chat with Lovish or James, you could see that we are chatting with each other. And I think so on a common group chat, they are trying to tell me that my time is over. I'm sure of that. So I will, I will just be, I will just be doing that. Next thing is there are many folks who are already on channel Slack or who are already on Slack please add PSE workspace. So you could see there are multiple workspace, some out of work, some out of my volunteering group, and you can add multiple workspace and we can work through, uh, we can work together. That's the focus uh, which we are trying to have and request that once we, uh, and we, we'll, we'll send a follow-up email as well, which will guide you to join. Very quickly, I will conclude this session of mine so that uh, Lovish can take it forward. Lovish, I am taking you to the next slide. Thanks a lot. So just we are on the last step here before we break, go to the breakouts and have an open conversation and see what is the expectation of the team and let's talk about open networking. So before that, we would just like to wrap it up and tell you that what's the next that we expect and what we have next in the plan. So Imran, if next slide, we can. Where are, where, what is Geo Middle East and how it was built and where are we heading? So in May or June towards the beginning, we started our mobilization, but during that Eid and lean period of uh, vacation and Ramadan, we prepared, we set our foot, we collaborated with each other that how we want this event to be run. And then finally, we are having an event post Eid in July, that is today of the official kickoff. 
going forward from August, you will see a couple of things that we are doing currently on a regular basis and we are expecting some more response on that so that we can get the limelight. What is the, what is the part of it? As we mentioned, James mentioned, Imran mentioned on that part. In Slack, if you have to network, you have to take the limelight, you have to be there. You need to know the peers so that they can understand the mindset. And that is why the Slack is the platform. And there we have uh, Raheem is posting a lot of something to chew on the Sunday. So Sunday is a day where we usually post some question, ask some perspective, and want to know your answer to get in to be more collaborative. Then we are looking forward for right now, we are looking forward for people to have and to know the comfort. And after the session, you will have a feedback form also where you will have that Benefits. are you comfortable for virtual or physical presence interaction. And based on that, we are looking forward to organize on the more meetups, breakout session, or once in a week coffee session at a specific time so that everybody can meet on and hang on around. We are also looking forward for individuals volunteer to give us some ideas. We are looking forward to the questions that are coming in. And it is really exciting. We all have the potential, but it's just that where to share, how to direct. And that is what we want to allow, where you can have come again, come up with the experiences, come up with some knowledgeable and you can host it. We are there to facilitate on it on a very well known. As an individual goal, Everybody in the pre-sales in the Middle East or as a community, what we look forward to give back more than what we consume and in turn receive more than what we already know. Till the time we give back more, we will not have a ripple effect and we will not be able to network or learn more. So that is the objective. And right now we are growing 55 plus member group in the Geo Middle East, which Imran showed just now on the Slack. Going forward, you can join it as the first step start networking. We don't expect that you to be eight hours on that, but yes, a couple of times a day or a week, you can surely go ahead, post your replies, post your questions, get networking, think on the individual people, feel free to network. This is your platform. And the astonishing part that we have two or three X more people on the LinkedIn in the PSC community. And we are trying to get that bridge also. So you will have more potentials of network in coming up days. And if you will just search on the pre-sales or solution engineers or these profession in LinkedIn, the potential is 3000 and plus. So think about it that how much potential we have, where we want to network and how much we can learn, leverage ourselves, understand each other's uh, network and grow further. So with that, in our next slide. Why join? Learn from and share experiences with fellow pre-sales. I'll just give you a small example. And uh, that's famous in my organization. We were working with one of the other organizations, Snowflake, like I am from Alteryx, and we have a joint customer together. So usually when we have to partner. But the A's, the salespeople were worried that how will they connect on the technical level? And the moment we joined, the people were introduced and they already know each other by names through pre-sales collector. So half of the battle was won with why? Because the mindset was similar. So think of it like a small story that yes, you have a similar platform where you can align your mindset, be together, be with the fellow pre-sales professional and cultivate your network to get your guidance opportunities. Personally, I have connected with a couple of people on pre-sales and as a mentor, I ask them questions. I want to understand the perspective that how they grew. Feel free. Everybody's here and it's, it's the opportunity for you to give the power to you. Why not? Why just stay limited to the organization? Take a creditable, accredited, accredited uh, answer from someone else in different organizations. Feel free. And at the next slide, at the end, I'd just like to highlight on three major steps that we expect and why you should do it. First, connect with us on the Slack PSC website and LinkedIn. These are the three channels. And in LinkedIn, don't hesitate to connect with each other. If you see pre-sales, go ahead, connect and talk, discuss, understand the background. Like I am from consulting background, move to pre-sales. People come across and ask the questions around it. So why not? We'll be more than happy to assist. And similarly, you have different people who are specialized in different industry. Go ahead, get the knowledge, gain it, keep networking. This will help you get the mentorship, get to the jobs and network in different organizations. If I'm preparing for an interview for some organization, 
I will not hesitate to contact someone from the pre-sales of that that tell me about it. So this is the platform it is about. Second, Slack is our lifeline. If you want to be get recognized in the Middle East, and the best part is Middle East is a very small market, and we know each other, people know, clients know each other by name. So why not take that potential and develop your own brand? And how you can develop by adding a meaningful efforts on that during your Slack conversation, posting on some of the perspective, understanding each other, posting some meaningful questions, content, learning, even a book or an article that you read. Why not? Just keep interacting and getting more ideas. Give more than you take. That's the whole principle. And third, when you stand out as a pre-sale professional, we understand that currently in your organization, you might be the only one. So why not attract more? Be the spark. Be the someone who interacts with people to bring across and make them into a same parallel thought process. And you can understand them better. The team can also be on a one platform, understand that how other organizations are doing it, how other organizations are leading it. So this way you can get some more ideas to adopt, to talk and have the conversation rolling in. Now with that, we will just pass it on, just showing you a three small decks, how we look like on collective and yes, you can see 14,659 members, Academy, and our Slack. This is your next step. And with that, we would just like to move on. We have arranged an open networking session with you. We would like to move on to the breakout room. And with, with the closing note, that post your key takeaways after the session. Just on the post your key takeaways after the session on the LinkedIn. That's your first step to be in the limelight, to be on the personal branding hash pre sales collector and grab your chance to be highlighted in the community. That's it. So you can click on the breakout rooms and we will Super. break from- uh, 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 Yes, thank you so much, Luis. Uh, so guys, uh, we will not waste any time. I will open the breakout rooms. You will go to the respective breakout rooms. The idea is very simple. We're gonna have some interesting topics and we want to hear, you can introduce yourself. You can uh, tell the reason why you joined the session today and what you expect from PSC. And there will be moderators. Rahim will be moderating room one. I'll be there in room two. And Luis will be there in room three. See you guys in about just three seconds, okay?